Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Browder Cunner, and I'm with Top Black Models. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Browder Cunner. I'm from Los Angeles. <laughs> no, but it's been about two years now, and uh, since then we've done uh, a few things, a few cool things. Uh, I finally got a chance to do Ralph Lauren. Uh, that was a big break for me, and then um, we did a spread with Maxim Magazine. Uh, also, we got shot with we shot with uh, Vogue with Kenneth Swampole. Um, we also did a few new features um, for GQ Online and stuff like that, and a few things for details, uh, a few shows for uh, Fashion Week with New York and everything, and. Uh, a few features. So it's, it's been cool. A lot of a lot of a lot of social media buzz from Harper's Bazaar, um, BuzzFeed, and L and Style.com. Yeah. Something I've learned in the past two years. In the last two years of this, oh man. Well, the rejection hasn't changed. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm still. Um, with everything that I've been doing and everything, it's nothing's changed. But uh, I will say that I've learned to embrace the new opportunities because I haven't really been knowing if I'm going to continue to do more and be more in the industry. So uh, lately I've just been learning how to just cope with the new and continue to strive more and be better, you know. Uh, what was important back then compared to what's important now? Back then I really honestly thought that it was all about being pretty, like bone structure, you know, like feeling like you have to um, really try, try, try hard to, um, you know, have a physical appearance, but I've come to realize that's mainly just been all personality. It's all just been about uh, how you handle your fan base, how you handle people that are around you, uh, how you can market yourself, you know. A lot of the other things that I thought were important in this business really didn't matter too much besides maintaining connections and maintaining your marketability. And it's been so simple to finally, finally realize that. <laughs> I just be myself. I, I mean, if you go to my Instagram, if you go to um, some of the things I do social media wise, I'm just very outgoing, I'm very stupid. That's the, that's the way I try to put it, because I just really don't care. I always kind of uh, try to be myself and to not be afraid of what people might think of me. So I think people might think that that's cool because it lets, allows them to be themselves. You know, it allows them to not really care about what people might think of them, what I say about them. I think it just allows people to know that you can be yourself and if they like you, they like you. If they don't, you don't. <laughs> it's honestly just to bring, to use it to bring light, to bring a little bit of, um, a little bit more. I think, as I've said this before in my passing, more than a pretty face, but I think, you know, it's more than that. I think it's very important to bring, um, bring some type of personality, uh, bring some type of enlightenment to the crew. Use your platform to, you know, bring awareness, you know, like different things that are going on in the world. You know, if you have a bunch of eyes on you and people following you, people that want to know um, what you're doing, I think it's very important to let them know what's going on in your mind as well. Uh, to bring, um, as I said, more awareness. I feel it's very essential that if you have that, if you're blessed with that type of platform, to use it in a way to bring, to, to bring something else to the table. Like my, me and myself, with all the different stuff happening in the world, I like to bring awareness to, honestly, the, the lack of black respect that we have in the, in the world. You know, people like Sandra Bland and Mike Brown. And we can actually stand up and say, hey, we can, we can stampede and, and, and use this for change. What angers me? Honestly, I don't, I don't really have too many, too many things that anger me these days. The only thing I that really angers me is, uh, is when I don't meet up to my personal expectations on something. Um, if I'm not performing at a certain level, if I'm not at a certain level where I feel like I should be, it really does kind of anger me because I feel like I'm doing something wrong. When I look around the world, it makes me sad. It's just the poverty. The people that are not, aren't having what they need. We got all these all these different types of um, new advancements, but you mean to tell me we can't get these people water? People are still starving. There's still war. We still got people dying for no reason. You mean to tell me that's still going on? There's still racism. It's um it's it's kind of like a WTF moment sometimes. I'm like, what the hell is all this? So that it, that really kind of upsets me. Because I don't understand, uh, as far as we've come in all this new age, it's 2015 now, almost 2016, and we still have all these same issues that haven't changed, that's kind of odd to me. 
and I tell people this all the time, if we all were to come together and stop the hating of each, and stop hating on each other and stop bringing each other down, if we all just come together, we can honestly change everything. It's because if you think about it, it's all off people people decisions. People are making these decisions. It's not just like um, one, per one person over here, a person over here, a person over there. It's all, we're all just people. But I think once we change our minds and change the way we see each other and change the way how we view one another, I think that's what's going to change it all. In the next five years, what will you expect from Ryder Connor and myself? Well, I will be bringing a lot of awareness, for sure because I feel like me, myself, and of course people are around me, I really feel like there's a lot that can come from people who are willing to be a part of change. And that's what I've always, that's, that's honestly one of the reasons I started. I told myself if I was to ever get to a certain point in my life or my career where I was able to bring awareness or bring change, I would do that. And that's honestly what, uh, what I plan to do in the next five years. Um, and just, honestly, I'm just gonna keep on being the goofy person I am on Instagram. You will definitely be seeing a lot of stupidity on my social media. <laughs> Something that people still don't know about me, besides the fact that they still try to say I'm not Nigerian. Um, people still don't know that I'm shy. People still don't know that I'm as shy as they come. I'm I still get very nervous when I go on set. I still get very nervous when I'm doing my shoots. Uh, they always think that, oh, you know, it goes away after time. It, no. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm actually kind of more shy now than I've ever been. But with doing what I'm doing and, you know, becoming who I've become, uh, it's, I've only had to, like, be able to embrace it and kind of just more so overcome what I'm, you know, I, a hindrance, I guess you could say. But I never let it really affect me. Very simple ab workout that I do. I do one exercise. I don't spend any time in the gym whatsoever. I go to the gym, and if I do, I go hoop. I do ab workout. Ab workouts for like maybe 15 minutes, and I'm out. And people always wonder, like, dude, you must go to the gym like for like hours a day. I'm like, no, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> nah, I don't spend any time in the gym. I just play basketball though. Um, honestly, the thank yous. I like to thank my parents, of course, because I they were so against me becoming a model. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't really against me, but they uh, they weren't too sure about it. And I'm thankful that they sort of supported me. Uh, I'm so thankful for my agents that have been riding with me for the past four years. I'm thankful for my friends like uh, like Cameron Gentry, and, and uh, he's just been very very good. So I'm grateful for him sticking with me through the ride and allowing you know just allowing um, us to go through the growing pains and everything. So shout out to Cameron Gentry and um, my support system and everything. A lot of people that are still in my circle from when I started are still here and I'm grateful for that. Um, uh, rest in peace to Michael Maddox. Thanks, uh, a lot of thanks to him. And of course, thank you Top Black Models for always shouting me out and showing me love. It's, it's really appreciated. And of course to the people. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for it. So, do you still have like the top selfies on Instagram. Are you still considered to be one of those guys? My goodness. Okay. Am I still the top selfie guy on Instagram? First of all, here's the thing. That's one thing the other people don't know about me. I don't like taking selfies. I, when I do take selfies, it's okay. It's something, but I still don't like taking them. But according to Harper's Bazaar, BuzzFeed, and Pop Sugar and other sites, they tend to like my selfies. So I, I guess so. I do more videos, but. In terms of selfies, I could pack a selfie punch. Okay guys, I'm going to attempt to take a good selfie real quick. Okay. First, I put on my front cramp, my front camera. I think you guys can see that, alright? Then I try to find the angle. That's what the eye too much. Just not. Ooh. There you go. Selfie. Huh? Boom. And this, this is how long it takes. A big production, guys, okay? Where's the lighting? There we go. And now we got that. 